If you want to find out how to add chapters to your YouTube videos, how to get them on the progress bar of every single video and ultimately give you the greatest chance to grow your channel and get more views, then keep watching this video. Hey everyone, it's Graham here and welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I help break down into bite-sized chunks your path to online success. Each week I release videos showing tips, tricks and strategies that can help you become successful online all while showing you my journey along the way. So let's get into it. So what are chapters and timestamps? It is effectively a way to segment your video into different sections, which allows your viewers the opportunity to actually search for something within the entire video that may help them or answer a particular question of theirs. It is essentially a story of your video and where your viewers can find the portion of the story that suits them best. So let's hop onto the computer now and actually show you how to actually add them into your videos. Okay, so now we are actually in the dashboard of my particular channel. So you would go to your channel dashboard. Once you're in your channel dashboard, you'll go to the video section over here on the left hand side. Once in there, you'll scroll down to the particular video that you want to add chapters to. So I'm just going to go into the very first video here, the introduction to my YouTube channel. And on the first one here is the details or edit section of the video. So you will just select that to go into the details of the video. One thing you need to remember is there's two ways to actually add these timestamps to your video. One can actually be within the pinned comment of your video itself or within the description of your particular video. Now me personally, I believe in the description is probably your best bet. That way you can at least use your pinned comment and change that up here and there instead of it permanently being your timestamp. All right, so on this particular video, I don't have any timestamps or chapters added as it stands. And I can show you that by going to the particular video itself. And if I hover over the progress bar, you'll see that there's no chapters included on this progress bar at any point in time. Okay, so let's actually add in the timestamps and the chapters to this particular video. So I'm going to go back to the video details section and I'm just going to go just below my actual description in the video itself. Now I've already created the timestamps, so I'm just going to paste them in here. You would obviously need to go through your own chapters itself, determine what to name the particular chapters, etc., and include them in your description. So I'm going to place mine there. So I've said timestamps and I've started with the timestamps there as well as a brief introduction name to that particular chapter. Now it can be pretty much anything you want. Think about the question or the solution that you're answering with in that timestamp element and use that as the name of the particular chapter itself. This way it's, it's keyword rich, it's optimized and it'll help you rank a little bit better as well. Now one thing you need to remember with regards to timestamps is you need to start off your timestamp with the 000 timestamp. So it knows that it's starting from that particular point. If you do not include this, if you go to the progress bar of your video, it's actually not gonna show the chapters itself. And one other thing to remember as well, if you haven't included this initial timestamp of 000, you'll still have a clickable timestamp in your description. But again, it's not gonna show up on your video itself. So now that I've added this here, let's actually save it and see if it actually works. All right, so we're on the video now and I've just paused at a particular point, but if I hover over the progress bar, you'll see that now it's got specific sections and as you hover over each particular section, it's got the name of that section playing just above it. And each section is sort of split up by a little notch You'll see the little notches between each and every section of your particular chapters itself. And while it's playing, you'll see the name of your section actually showing up next to the progress time as it plays through. Now, if I go into the description section of it and I'll go through down to the timestamp area, you'll see that now we've almost got a hyperlinked timestamp section here. So it actually is a clickable timestamp. So if I have to go and click on any one of those particular timestamps there, it'll actually go to the start of that timestamp in the video itself. So if this video has been helpful to you so far and you've learned something up until now, please show some thank you and hit that like button as it'll really help out this channel.
So one key thing that's been noticed at the moment with people who use timestamps and chapters in their videos is there's actually a lot more exposure and reach outside of YouTube at this point in time. That actually being within Google search itself. So if someone actually plugs into Google search bar a particular question and if your chapter is actually named that particular question or something relating to that, it has a greater chance of actually showing up in search results ranking high for that particular term, keyword or question and actually getting a lot more traffic through from Google search to that particular snippet or chapter within your video. So this is a great way to get additional traffic, extra views and possibly new subscribers. So one particular drawback of the chapter and timestamp feature is that there is that possibility that it could actually reduce the watch time of your videos. If you're actually telling someone exactly where to go within your video to find exactly what they are searching for, then it stands to reason that once they actually get the information they're searching for, they may abandon your video. However, I do not believe that this will have a very large impact on your watch time. However, it is something to actually consider in putting timestamps and chapters into your description and including them in your videos. And think of it this way, if you have a really long video, would it not benefit your viewer to actually provide these chapters and timestamps to show them exactly which section of the video will add the most value to them? And if they find it valuable, chances are you've actually won over the viewer, possibly gotten a new subscriber, which can ultimately lead to more views and watch time in the long run. So that's basically it, ladies and gents. If you want to learn more tips, tricks and strategies and help you boost your growth on YouTube, check out this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and smash that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future releases from me. Thank you for watching, everybody. Take care. We'll chat soon. Cheers.